log in here. Alright, so last episode I showed you guys uh, solo play and a little bit of multiplayer. What I want to focus on today with you is installing new cars and paint jobs on your cars. So cars are referred to as 3D models and 2D skins are going to be your paint jobs. But anyway, we'll get into that later. So here's some different models. I've been using this 427 Cobra. Uh, one thing that I didn't realize annoys me a little bit. It doesn't have a driver. So you're driving this awesome looking car and there's nobody in it. Um, we have the General Lee. We have a uh, 1971 Corvette Stingray with a uh, Sebring race uh, livery on it. I'm tripping over my words here. We have this stadium car. So this is from Trackmania Nations, which was a stadium style environment. And uh, they took this car, they kind of zombie apocalypsed it up and uh, made it look awesome. Took the rear spoiler off of it and voila, you have this. Uh, I've got the Von Gittin Jr. Mustang RTRX. And I have a, uh, I'm not sure exactly, I think it's a 71, but it's a 70 to 73 Camaro Z28 with side pipes that I'm not a huge fan of. But I'm not going to be a huge stickler on it because the rest of the car looks awesome. It's even a split bumper. <clears throat> so we're going to take the General Lee. And a lot of these cars actually come with a, uh, a custom horn. So let's go into solo play. Go into green, which I've been playing a little bit. We'll go to this new track. I'm going to connect my controller. Right, so what uh, track media games do every now and then, and it just did it there, is the game will freeze, you panic, you go, oh no, it's frozen, but what it actually loads the game anyway. So you just can't... Sorry, I'm just watching this. Kind of shows me where I gotta go. Ah, uh, we'll just fly by the seat of my pants. Why not? Why are you not working, controller? Well, it's not fun. We're doing we're doing this with the keyboard. It's the horn button. Oh, good lord! Oh, that wasn't good. So that was the finish line. percent sure. Let's just go back here and go to profile inputs. Input devices. Right on. Let's try that again, shall we? Always some sort of technical difficulties. Wouldn't be technology without it. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. Sounds the way it's supposed to. I do want to show you. Now we're playing an official race here, apparently. But, uh, not too worried about that. What I do want to show you is damage models. So, three. Typically, when you download a 3D model, it will include damage models. Oh, good lord. That was really high. I'm not used to actually playing in the night on this game. So 
Well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, your car gets dirty. Ooh. Right on, so here we are in Google Chrome. Please don't mind the uh, Camaro ZL1. Of course, there's a phone call as soon as I start recording. We'll just ignore that. <clears throat> right on, so maniapark.com. So here we have 3D model showroom, 2D skins showroom, mods showroom. So these are for the actual environment. So there's a Super Mario Mar ma bleh, mod. Super Mario mod, there we go. A green stadium. A Tron stadium. Uh, we have 3D objects that you can actually use in your, upon building your tracks in the editor. So we have radar, bridges, measuring instrument, a ruler for... I'm not sure what. Um, speed cameras, because there are actual parts of this, uh, there are track pieces, I guess you can say in the editor, that resemble actual highways on, uh, that you'd find in the middle of the desert. So you can put speed cameras, um, oil rigs, sandbags, 3D arrows, Crystal Canyon, I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, even game modes. So what we are going to do is we're going to go browse the 3D models. There's some uh, pretty neat ones in here. Um, BMW M3 E21. E20i. How about a Ford GT40 Mark I? With uh, with that golf livery that I absolutely love, it's a Tureco one. They're Tureco. Yes, but the golf one is much cooler. So we are going to download the Golf 4 GT40 Mark One, and uh, right. Okay, we're going to go to Documents. You're going to go to Mania Planet. Okay, you're going to see these folders here. Go to the Skins directory, models, canyon car, and save it here. So for whatever reason, that download is not starting. Alright, so what I had to do the last time was actually stop my screen capture and uh, it began to download. So I'm going to do that right now. Right, so the download has finally started. Uh, 8.3 megabyte file. We've only got about 30 seconds left in the download. So we'll sit here. So you can actually read some different comments on here. EA. Electronic Arts. Really. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, what other... Because I have cool idea in my head that involves a white challenger RT 392 some of them actually upload video game or uh, trailers So the car looks good. Uh, split seven. No. Thirty-eight Hot Wheels. So we're just gonna download this one here. Shove it. 
in the same directory in the Canyon Car directory. So uh, that's going to download, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the actual game and show you uh, the models in the game. Hey guys, back in the game. Just fly through the menus here. Profile, models. So now we should see the different models that we. Right, so. Oh, pay planets for uh, a lot of the models that you download. So this is actually a really detailed model of the uh, Challenger SRT-8392. Here is that beautiful Ford GT. Ford GT40, sorry. Pretty well up to par with the graphics of the, the cars that come with the game, to be completely honest. So, I did complain about that a little bit. But I mean, I, I am used to Forza graphics. These are still pretty damn good. Oops. Right. So what I want to do is uh, actually go to the editor. And we're going to paint a car. So we're going to paint the SRT8. models. You do run into this little issue where uh, sometimes the paint doesn't lay the way you want it to. editor, uh, you can apply a sticker, you can apply images, which I'm sure that you can actually download. That's kind of cool. Oh, we're going to go back. What, what is this? This appears to be the shadow model for the Canyon car, actually, uh, which is funny enough. Okay, so, yeah, theoretically, you can upload your own images and apply them to the vehicle. There's some stickers here. Just forward. That's neat. That's pretty neat. Pick up mirror symmetry. Okay, so this turns on the symmetry. So there's a whole bunch of different stickers. So this opens up the world to more modding because I believe that you can up add your own s stickers to this game. So I have some plans for a white Dodge Challenger. And, uh, so that'll be in the next episode. So thanks guys for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, let me know what you think of this latest episode in the comment section. And please feel free to suggest any games that you feel that I should try to uh, play in uh, my Let's Play series. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.